Today we have a mystery box from Smart World as well as a mystery box from Boomloo and we're going to open both of them to see which one is better. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I am beyond excited for today's unboxing because we are actually going to be pitting two mystery box companies up against one another. I have a $95 mystery box right here from Boom Loot, as well as a $125 mystery box from Smile World. So they're, they're not the exact same price value. So Smile World does have um, about a $30 advantage going into the initial box battle here, but Boom Loot has been known to give us some pretty good top hits. So we're gonna start out with the Boom Loot box here. This was actually from one of their more recent runs. This was volume number 111, three pops for $95. And we actually already opened up one other box from this run. We actually opened it last week and we got a very, I don't wanna say low box, but we didn't come in very much higher than the guaranteed value. So I think we got one of the lower boxes in the run. Really cool pops in this run, the top hit being the Misfits Fiend. A lot of great NFTs in this run as well. You have Freddy Funko as Batman. You also have the Eradicator from the DC drop. Uh, moving into some non-NFT hits, they do have a Freddy Funko as Mandalorian in this run, which would be an amazing pull. There is a Metallic Nightwing. That is a great one, that Fugitive Toys exclusive right there. Tiki Stitch is a fun one. Rebels Captain Rex, I mean... Padme Amidala from Geonosis from Emerald City Comic Con. There's just so many great pops in this run, and that's why we had to get two boxes. So this is our second box. Top box was top box was over three hundred dollars in value. So if we could triple our value, going from a ninety-five dollar cost to a three hundred dollar gain. That would be absolutely insane. I also want to say thank you to all the amazing people out there. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from these mystery box opening videos. So if you guys are enjoying them, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you join our Slapshot Pops family. With that being said, let's get into pop number one. Here we go. The more expensive pop is usually in the middle sorter of the, the triple bundle here. So we'll save that for last. First pop of the day, we have, all right, from One Punch Man. This is the GameStop exclusive Mummin Rider. And look at this one, it's like a mini pop ride. But Funko managed to fit this one inside a regular four inch pop, uh, pop box. I don't know anything about One Punch Man or anime or anything, but Come on, Funko, if you manage to fit this entire guy here on his little bike in a regular four inch pop box, I think there's several other pops out there that could have fit in a similar style box. The first two that come to mind are actually the flocked Elmo from Target Con that we got a few months back. And then most recently, uh, we just got the reveal for um, Darth Maul on the speeder from the Phantom Menace line. That one also looked like it could have fit in a regular four inch pop box, but nonetheless, we'll leave that rant for another day. Let me just put this back together. So not bad, not sure what his value is. Uh, it's a newer-ish, uh, it's 2020, so it's not like super new. So we'll find out all the values at the end, of course, and uh, we'll see which company will emerge victorious. Here we go, pop number two from Boom Loot. It looks like a Simpsons one, okay. People are always asking us for our extra Simpsons pops. This is Vampire Mr. Burns from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors. And this was a New York Comic Con exclusive from 2019. This is the shared sticker. This is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I know a lot of people really love this line this uh, Treehouse of Horrors line. So that's not a bad pop to maybe uh, squirrel away for our Halloween auction. All right, this is, uh, this is it guys. I have no idea where we stand as far as value. Maybe we're at like 50 bucks. Maybe I'll go uh, 20, 15 to 20 for Mum and Rider. And um, since the Treehouse of Horror line is a little bit more popular, I'll say he's like 25 to 30. So this should be at least 
a $30 to $45 pop. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yes! This is an amazing one. Oh, come on. Man, that's how you start off the week. Oh, 2013. This is my favorite DC superhero ever. Check it out, guys. We got the Fugitive Toys exclusive Red Nightwing. Now, this isn't the metallic version. However, this pop is incredibly hard to come by nowadays. And this one is in just beautiful condition. I, I can't believe how good this looks. For an 11 year old piece? Come on. That, that's gorgeous. You know, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be very tough for Smile World to beat. But nonetheless, I'm gonna check our values really quick for the Boom Loop box, and then we're gonna rip into this Smile World box. I'm just gonna jump in and say this. That Smile World box better have some heat because it's gonna take a lot to beat the value of this Boom Loop box. This has to be one of the top boxes in the run, so let's break it down. First up, we have the GameStop exclusive Mummin Rider coming in at $21. I believe I said I thought it was around 15 to 20, so I was pretty close. Next up, we have Vampire Mr. Burns. I think I overestimated the value for this one just a tad, but nonetheless, he is coming in at $20 for the shared Fall Convention sticker. If he had the actual New York Comic Con official sticker, that one is currently trending for $65. Now let's talk about the crown jewel of the box right here, the Fugitive Toys exclusive Red Nightwing. This one is currently coming in at $130. And if I didn't have this one for my collection, 1000% I would be keeping it. I might actually have to go check mine and see if this one's in better condition. But nonetheless, even if you have the uh, metallic uh, Red Nightwing. That one is trending at even more, coming in at $350. But this is still a fantastic hit, and that gives us a grand total on our $95 box of $171 in value. So we almost doubled our value. So that's why I think that this was actually one of the top boxes in the run. Not to mention that all three of these pops are just they're 10 out of 10 condition. Like there is nothing wrong with either of the three. So shout out to Boom Loot. And that is why I was comfortable with pitting a $95 one of their boxes up against a $125 Smy World box. So here we go. Let's see if Smy World can beat out Boom Loot here. So as far as the details for the Smy World box, unfortunately Smy World does not give you a picture of a majority of their hits. Sometimes they don't even give you a picture of any pops in the run, which I kind of hate as a collector. But for this run, at least they gave us a little nugget of what is inside this run. So they gave us a picture of six pops. In this picture, we have the 1000 piece, Glow in the Dark, Jolly Roger. That one's gorgeous. You have a Freddy Funko as Jolly Bee. There is a Danny Phantom NFT in the form of Ember McLean. There's a beautiful flocked Snowy Bigfoot, Toucan Sam, and a metallic She-Ra. She actually came with the exclusive lounge fly bag. $125 box, limited to a $35 box run. Two to four pops, all boxes, minimum $125 guaranteed value. Uh, one out of six boxes will also contain a $50 coupon code to use for anything on the site. I would be ecstatic and if we do pull one of those that has to be factored into the value because we can then turn that coupon voucher into real pops that have actual value so that that could be the difference between these two boxes here um, you're not guaranteed to pop from the picture obviously top box will be valued at over six hundred dollars so I don't know what do you guys think drop it down in the comments do you think Smy World has the ability here to overtake our $171 Boom Loop box. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited to find out what is inside this box. It's a bigger box, of course. Oh, what is this? Oh, I got ex Okay, so there's something in the top here. 280 piece Smy World pin. I didn't know if that was like the voucher or anything, but this is pretty cool. Look at that. A little Smy World pin as a nice bonus here in our box. Am I holding it upside down? 
No, I got it. I got it correctly. There we go. A lot of colors there. Very cool. Got the Smire World logo and everything. Not bad. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Oh, I think we got one. Yes, we got one. Congratulations. Here is a $50 coupon code to spend on anything you want on SmileWorld.com. Thank you so much for the support. Bam, there we go. $50 gift card. All right, we haven't even pulled a single pop yet and we have $50 in value. Okay, this box might actually have a chance. Actually, I think this box will have to beat the Boom Loop box because it's $125 plus the $50 coupon code. That's $175. So I've had this box in for a few days. Unless one of the pops dropped in value, I think Smile World is actually gonna pull this out. This is pretty crazy. All right, here we go. I have never gotten a coupon voucher or anything from them before. This is so exciting. I'm gonna go buy something from their website after this. All right, here we go. First pop, they are all individually wrapped. So it's kind of cool how you can see how each mystery box company does things a little differently. Uh, Boom Loot had the sorters and now Smile World has bubble wrap and the brown paper. They don't have protectors, at least on the first pop that I have here. So. First pop on the day, oh, here we go. From the Disney line, we have Mulan. She's actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I, she is. She is my favorite Disney princess. I love Mulan. The original Mulan movie is just incredible. The soundtrack, you know, all the classic songs, Be a Man, everything is just amazing. 2017 here on Mulan, and she looks to be in Fantastic condition. On the back here, you actually have Joanna's favorite Disney princess. She loves Jasmine. I pause for a minute because I do love Jasmine as well. I think Mulan and Jasmine, they're very similar. You know, they're fierce, strong, you know, women that you can definitely look up to and everything. So yeah, Mulan is fantastic. Great first pull. Let's see what else we have. Okay. So we have two more pops. It was a two to four pop mystery box. And both of these appear to be in protectors. So I think it's only gonna get better from here. I mean it's already been it's already been a pretty good box so far with that $50 code. Alright. I'm excited. I'm gonna go shopping on Smile World later. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Second pop of the box. Oh look at that! From the original Daredevil line. This is a good one to get right now. Masked Vigilante Daredevil. When did this line come out? I think it was a 2017? 2015! 2015 on the Masked Vigilante Daredevil. We do have the Daredevil Born Again series coming out pretty soon on Disney Plus where Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio and all the original cast, they're going to be coming back, which is super exciting. And uh, this line is just incredible. I have this entire Daredevil line, had to get it for my Marvel collection, which is now unfortunately packed up and sitting in bins, but this is a great pull. Man, we are crushing it with the mystery boxes today. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm excited to see what this last and final pop is, and I'm, I'm even more excited to see if uh, Smile World is going to pull this out here. So here we go, last pop of the day. It's, it's wrapped very well in bubble wrap here. So let's see what we got. Three, two, one. Oh, look at this! A limited piece! This is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, so this came out last summer for Camp Fun Days, and I know a lot of people actually wanted this one. So this was exclusive to the event. This is S'mores Boy. Oh, this one's super amazing. Oh my God, I didn't even notice this. All right, I gotta take this out really quick. So this is my first time seeing this pop in person. Man, what a way to end off the uh, the box with a limited piece. Did you guys notice this? I am just seeing this for the first time on his vest here. So this is an original Funko character that they come came up with. But look at the badges on his vest. They're actually little chase stickers. And um, it's one says glow chase and everything. Glow in the dark, flocked, and then the um, the international uh, Funko sticker as well. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that on there. That is such an amazing detail that 
you wouldn't notice unless you're really looking at the pop. That is incredible. Now, this one was limited to the attendees that actually went to the event. So, I, I, this pop was going for quite a bit, of course, when, you know, the con first happened and fun days and everything. So, I don't know. This, this might be up there still because it's a cool character. It's a limited piece, of course, and you could only get it from the event. So, I'm very curious to see what the value is. But, guys... Overall, two amazing mystery boxes. Stick around for a few seconds and let's see if Smy World did in fact take down Boom Loop. So I'm going to put it this way. I absolutely love opening up mystery boxes because you truly never know what you're going to pull and you also never know what kind of value you're going to see in some of these pops. So here we go. First pop that we have is Mulan. Beautiful Mulan here. She's only coming in at $16. Uh, she is from 2017, so I will always gladly take an older Disney pop. So I can't believe we're also saying that 2017 is now becoming slightly older. Crazy. Next pop we had here. Man, I did not realize that this one had been trending up so much. This one is well on its way to becoming a Grail from the Daredevil series or from the Daredevil line, I'm wondering if this entire wave is starting to go back up in value again. These are all beautiful pops, limited runs, uh, very hard to find in good condition, and the Daredevil Mass Vigilante here is currently trending at $90, and it's actually selling for around $100 to $120. So, um, yeah, if you guys are Daredevil fans and you're excited for the new show, I highly recommend you start crossing off the ones you don't have for your wish list because people out there they're starting to grab these next one all right so this one daredevil was a surprise in a good way this one i cannot believe it and i refuse to believe this because this is a super cute pop it is a limited piece and funko just put so much creativity into this character it deserves to be valued way more than only 22 dollars but Nonetheless, it was selling for around 90 to 100 when the con happened last summer, and it's since come down in value, but I think people are sleeping on this one, and I know quite a few people who are still on the lookout for this one. If we weren't moving, we would 1,000% be keeping this one, but unfortunately, we are getting ready to move, so I can't keep everything. So, nonetheless, this is where it gets very interesting. So, for our $125 Smile World box, we actually only pulled in a grand total of $128. So, going off of the pops, Boom Loot knocked this box out of the water. However, as I did mention and state before we opened up the Smile World box, if we were lucky enough to pull one of those $50 vouchers, it does have to be added and included into the total overall value of the box, which I think is the fairest way to do it. If you guys disagree, drop it down in the comments section below. So that brings us from $128 to $178, which makes Smile World today's mystery box champion. But nonetheless, we pulled six amazing pops. We got some limited pieces. We got some older stuff. We got a Marvel Grail, a DC Grail. I am beyond happy. These two boxes were so much fun. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below which box was your favorite or which pop was your favorite. I would definitely love to hear everyone's thoughts and opinions on these two boxes. And if you would like to see more videos like this where we pit two companies against one another with similar value boxes, sometimes it's a little bit hard to find companies dropping boxes around the same time at exact, uh, exactly the same price points, but um, you know, 95, 125, similar ballpark and everything. And uh, we did end up pulling overall very similar value from each. So let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this because this was a lot of fun. Now, because it is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday Motivation segment. Every single week, we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week, which is typically Monday. And once again, I want to thank everybody for all the support, all the empathy, all the kind messages, all the very moving stories and everything you shared with us after last Monday's video. If you guys want to go find out what I'm talking about, make sure to go watch that video at some point this week. But just as a follow-up to all these messages and these stories and you know, all the real life situations that so many of you reached out to tell us about, 
that's going to be the main inspiration for today's Monday Motivation. And we are all people. You never know what somebody is truly going through behind you know, the face that they put on. You more than likely won't be able to tell, more, more than likely won't be able to ever tell what somebody is actually going through because sometimes when we're going through hard situations, it's easier just to bottle it up and just put it in a little box and forget about it rather than open up and actually tell people what's going on because you might be ashamed, you might be embarrassed, you might not know where to go or who to turn to. And that is why for today's Monday Motivation, I wanna encourage anybody out there going through any sort of tough situation, whether it's with your family, your job, school, maybe there's somebody who's not treating you correctly, don't be afraid to ask for help. Because one of the things, one of the worst things that we can do for ourselves in these situations that are not the best, maybe a situation that we find ourselves in that we never thought we would be in when we don't know what to do. It's a lot easier just to bottle it up, but if you have the courage, if you can just find a little bit of strength to ask somebody for help, it could be the difference of you getting out of that situation and you know getting yourself into a better spot than not. And I know it's very tough to ask for help. I've been in those situations where I thought I was strong enough to handle it on my own, and I'll be the first one to let you guys know I was not. I am not with certain situations. We all need help, we all need people to lean on, and that is, once again, another reason why this community is so incredible. There are so many people that I know I can lean on, and I hope that a lot of people out there feel like they can lean on me, and that they can lean on Joanna for help you know, during times of need. So please, 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 if anybody out there is in any sort of situation, whether it's super dire or something super minor, don't be afraid to ask for help. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, don't stop shooting until you score.